Hi. I want to do an early morning reading. I can't explain the feeling that I'm feeling. I'm not going to say that the Spirit is leading me to do the reading, but either way it goes, I know I'm one with God and I am God, so it's coming from a pure, sincere place. And again, I can't explain the feeling that I'm feeling, but I just want to do a checkup on the energy of what's going on. And right now I'm going to use only my pictures that is inspired by the creator that I took on my own. The pictures were taken by me. And again, this is just an energy checkup because the feeling that I'm feeling is not a uh, fearful feeling or a sad lonely, no type of negative or lower vibrating feeling. It's more of a feeling of being in a unfamiliar, unusual uh, place. You know, we've taken the leap of faith. We made that jump and it's like not worried or scared, but it's, it's just the excitement and the unknowing of where it's going but again it's not a feeling of sad or uh intimidated feeling it's not that at all it's just the spirit of not knowing the next steps but you, we know god got it all in control so i just wanted to do an energy checkup because i can't explain it i am in peace but it's just the unknowing of the next steps that are unfolding. So let's see what God got to say. I'm going to just lay some cards down and we're going to go from there. Okay. Again, the feeling that I am feeling, this is kind of where it is. It's like you have dark clouds, you have, uh, it's just foggy, misty, and you know your emotions. It's just not knowing, but we know who is in control. We know the Father has everything controlled. The angels the uh, have, they've gone before us and made our way plain. But this is exactly the feeling that I'm feeling at the time. And I know if I'm feeling it, a lot of us is in the same emotional feeling. You know, we've taken that leap of faith. We've jumped out here now. And by us not knowing the, the, the route, the ends and the outs of our steps that we're taking, uh, we're just in this type of emotional feeling. It, 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 it's, it's, it's just the unknowing, the unusual, unfamiliar territory. But we just stay in peace and stay in the calmness of the water because the water is, is calm. Our emotions should be calm. And, you know, uh, and our thoughts should be stayed on the confidence and knowing that God has it in control. And I look at this as the sun card. This is myself. And to me, it reminds me of the energy of the sun. So, yes, stay in the confident feeling and knowing, even though it's dark and shadowy and unfamiliar, just stay in the calm waters. And, and then this is like, we have to stay looking on the inside and on the inside is our confidence. It's like we're looking in the mirror. Let's just stay looking in the mirror. And if we notice, I wish I had a bigger light in here right now. If we notice in the mirror, we have different things displayed in this mirror. We have a preacher. We have books. And so we have, we have to go on the knowledge that we know that we are already anchored to the wisdom and knowledge. And again, there's like uh, different 
pit, uh, statutes or little whatnots of, of, of just stay looking inside with wisdom and the knowledge and our mentors and our guides, you know, stay looking within and know that we have the power because we're looking within, we're holding anchor to the anchor that's within. That's where our power is coming from. The power is within. And know that, you know, we are self-made. And how are we self-made? We're self-made because when it's all said and done, it's you and your God, your creator. And you're one with God. You are God. Only you can make your, um, your story. Only you can write your story. And we can't be dependent on everything outside and and the directions and everything that everybody else is doing you are self made from within your power is come coming from within the oneness that is within you that is how we are made from ourselves from the oneness within and again it's smooth operation this is a smooth operation we're in calm waters, even though it may look shadowy and misty and foggy, but stay in calm waters. And it's a smooth operation. You know, stay anchored to the power that's from within. And here we go. We have mutual agreement. And 11 is you know, like our portal, our gateway to the divine, to our power of that self-made. Our power comes from being made from within, that mutual agreement that we have with God within. Let's stay in the, the, uh, the oneness. And to me, 11 is like, keep going through you know, go through that portal, that gateway, stay within, stay in mutual oneness from within. And then that is what we have to display. You know, we have to display the oneness, display the, 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 the sun, the, the, the inner knowing, the, the rising that we know that's the promises that we have given to us by the Most High. We're going to display the oneness of the peace and the joy, not the uh, worry or or uh, confusion. No, we have to keep the display and the knowledge from the wisdom of what we're knowing from within. You know, the knowledge and wisdom of what's within, what's what we're learning from our lessons, from from, uh, you know, the different things we've gone through in our life. Let us have learned that. And now that we're in mutual oneness, learning how to cooperate with the oneness that's within, you know, let's just stay in that power. Let's stay in that power. And display it, you know, speak it, uh, think it, and, um, you know, believe it. Stay in that oneness. Let's see if we could get a little more clarification. Thank you, Father. But again, I'm just checking up on this energy and I need this motivation because right now I feel like just the unfamiliar of not knowing is making me feel like I just I'm, I'm being honest. I cannot explain what I'm feeling right now, but the confidence of knowing that God is in control, that is where we need to stay at in that knowing and knowledge. And um, 
Let's see. Search, arrest, aggravated. Yes, let's, let's, man, I need a bigger light. Yes, this here say basically like search, arrest. And we have aggravated assault, burglary, grand theft, tampering with. So this, this is letting us know, let's make sure we stay. Don't let these clouds take us out of calm waters by listening to things around us, giving us aggravated assault, uh, burglary, grand theft. Don't let nothing rob us of our, our peace and our confidence. Again, we have to display. We have to think, believe, and speak what we know the knowledge of God and the wisdom and our lessons have taught us. Let's stay in the displayed uh, aspect of that. And again, um, the socialize. Even though we may socialize and everything, it's very important that even who we are socializing with, that we don't let it deter our, our attention, our focus away from where our inner knowing, our oneness within don't let our socialization with people, places, or things take us and rob us, uh, burglarize us, grand theft, and charge us with where we know we are. We can't let these arrest these different charges. And I'm, I apologize that it's not showing up, but um, we got to check our arrests. Don't, don't, don't be arrested with these charges you know don't don't get arrested with these charges and i'm not talking about physically i'm talking about mentally and spiritually um i pray it don't be physically we should be beyond that but if this is reaching to somebody socialization don't don't be arrested by the people you're socializing with that could bring charges against you aggravated assault burglary grand theft don't let those charges come towards you by who you're socializing with remember you are self-made you're not you're not made by all of the influences and and what social uh uh social um it's being what's going on in the world we're self-made we're not made by what society and our friends family community uh culture know you're self-made and that self-made is coming from the mutual agreement that you have from within and um and then opportunity and again it's showing up 11 11. I don't know if you could see it, but on that clock is, wow. Anyway, on a clock that's here, it says 11-11. So we have that confirmation regarding there is a portal, there is an opportunity that is put before us. If we made that leap of faith and jump through it, stay in that frame of mind. You've made the uh, move, the jump, don't go back. Keep going forward. But to go forward, we have to stay in the display of our minds, our words, and our emotions. You know, no matter how we're feeling or what it's looking like outside, stay in the calmness. Keep Stay in the mindset of, you know, you're in the power of the oneness that we have with our creator. Don't, don't be arrested by those charges. Don't get arrested with these charges. Don't let the enemy come in and steal grand theft your promises out of your heart. I guess I'll pull a few more and we'll close this out because this is giving me a peace of mind about just stay going forward. You made the jump. You've, you've taken the leap of faith. Stay grounded. Stay positive thinking. Stay in the positive attitude. You know, we the promise has been made. We It, it, it belonged to us. Stay in peace. Stay in the confidence and keep walking towards the opportunity that you made your leap of faith in.
Okay. Again, it is that time. You know, it's time that we don't uh, don't look at how long it's taking or or where you are at this time. Just know that it is time for you to receive your harvest. So don't give up. Do not have that lack of faith. You've made the move. Keep going forward and keep unfolding. Keep nurturing your seed. Just keep going forward towards our promise. We've in, we're in it now. No turning back. No looking back. And that goes for people who we're socializing with. I feel very strongly about Whoever we're socializing with, we have to stay in that self-made. You may have to be alone. You can't be in the crowd. This is between you and God. This is between you and your most high inner strength, your, your, your highest self within, you and God alone. You and God alone self-made. You may, you can't, you may not, the crowd may not follow you in this route. They may not go with you through this portal. You know, the opportunity has been set before us and everybody may not go through that same portal. That 11 to me is like a gate, a portal. And here on the clock, we can't see it, but it says 11, 11. So everybody may not can't go with you on this here so whoever if you're still hanging around socializing with people don't let nothing get you arrested within or without grand theft burglary aggravated assault no don't let your socialization take you to those levels stay in that high spirit of confidence of of knowing that you know we have to display that and, you know, be in reality in your side and without. Keep your words pure. Keep your thoughts pure. And keep your actions pure. You know, speak, think, and believe. And just be in the purity of the oneness. All right. I wanted to do that energy checkup. I guess that helped me get grounded. Because it was a feeling that I can't explain. As I said, it was, it's not a negative feeling. It's not a discouraged or anything type of feeling. I just needed something to help me get grounded. And I thank you, Father, that this answered me. And I pray it helped ground some uh, others as well. Stay confidence in the move that we made. We've gone forward. We've taken that leap of faith. Stay confident. Stay on high vibrating levels. Do not get arrested by the thoughts of, 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 of nothing that's going to discourage you. People, places, or thing. Detach from those thoughts, people, places, or whatever. And this may be something that we have to do alone. So have a blessed day. Stay grounded. We got this.